In this video, I am going to provide you with a couple of examples that could affect the length and layout of your stair stringers. If you have a framing square that is bent and no longer square, and this can actually affect the length of the stair stringer, as well as creating steps that might not be perfectly level or risers that won't be perfectly plumb or vertically level. So let's go ahead and get started with an example of a couple of layout lines that are going to be perfectly square and of course will look something like this and if you notice I went ahead and separated the framing square so that you can get an idea in which direction it is going to be bent and of course you can see where this one here is bent outward whereas the next example is bent inward and of course framing squares are often bent by misusing them or dropping them and believe it or not sometimes they come from the factory bent so you might want to check all of your framing squares before before you start using them and of course I do have a video that I just made and I will put a link here for you to check that out so let's go ahead and take a look at our first example where the square is perfectly square and we're going to use nine steps for each one of the examples however you're going to notice the length of the stringer change as we lay out the stringer so in our next example we're going to use the framing square that is bent inward and as you guessed it this will create a shorter stringer so let's go ahead and remove the framing square and take a look at our square lines here so this one here is the square line and the line on the other side would represent the line used with the framing square that would be bent inward and as we lay that out with our framing square we're going to end up with something like this and by now you can probably figure out that if we're going to use a framing square that is bent outward that the stair stringer is going to be a little longer however before we lay that out let's just go ahead and take a look at our lines and of course the line on the inside here represents the square line created by these square framing square and the line on the other side represents the line from the bent framing square and as we lay out our stringer we're going to end up with something like this and hopefully this never happens to you but if you are having a problem with laying out your stringers while using precise and exact measurements on your framing square and you're ending up with stringers that are a little too long or a little short, then the first thing I would suggest doing would be to check the framing square to make sure that it isn't going to be the problem. 